As the U.S. Constellation class frigate program, a colossal financial investment fades into obscurity amid controversy, China's newest batch of Type 054 frigates are entering service at a rapid pace on the other side of the globe. What strategic divergence and shifting industrial capabilities do these stark contrasts reveal between the two navies, especially as new vessels continuously break China's shipbuilding speed records? We must ask, having completed over 40 Type 054 frigates in their variants, and efficiently finished 10 Type 054 AGs, where will the Chinese Navy's frigate development head next? Will it continue refining mature platforms or boldly embark on a new chapter? Recently, local media reports brought a new vessel into public view the HN 543 Linfen, formally joining the People's Navy. Exclusive models and footage released by Linfen Broadcasting revealed its identity. The latest upgraded variant of the Type 054 series, the Type 054 AG frigate. Two prominent changes stand out in its appearance. First, the familiar 76mm gun at the bow has been replaced by a more robust and powerful 100mm single-barrel main gun, nicknamed the Bun Gun. By military enthusiasts, this main armament is identical to that of the more advanced Type 054B frigate, signifying an upgrade in anti-ship and shore strike capabilities. Second, the helicopter deck at the stern has been significantly extended and reinforced. Its design specifically targets the capability to accommodate the larger and more advanced C-20F anti-submarine helicopter, thereby elevating the fleet's airborne anti-submarine radius and effectiveness to a new level. The rapid commissioning of this batch of Type 054 AG frigates will swiftly bolster the carrier strike group's escort capabilities, potentially forming the backbone of distant sea maneuvering formations to effectively address increasingly complex maritime security challenges. However, as this batch of orders concludes successfully, an inevitable strategic question emerges, what class of frigate will the Navy procure next? Continuing production of the mature Type 054 AG undoubtedly represents the lowest risk option with the fastest combat readiness timeline. This design features mature engineering, a well-established supply chain, and proven construction techniques, enabling the rapid delivery of large numbers of reliable combat platforms at relatively economical costs. Faced with urgent combat readiness demands, this appears a prudent choice. Yet taking a longer-term view, Continuing to maximize the potential of the 054A, a platform born at the turn of the century with a foundational design now showing its age, may not be the optimal solution. Looking at our surrounding waters and global naval trends, the race for next-generation frigates has already quietly begun. Japan's Morasam class and South Korea's Chungnam class, despite differing design priorities and performance trade-offs, embody the new paradigm in frigate design since the second decade of the 21st century greater emphasis on stealth, modularity, multi-mission capabilities, and integrated propulsion system efficiency. Even America's ill-fated Constellation class harbored ambitions to integrate advanced technologies and redefine the frigate concept. Compared to the 054 series, whose design origins trace back to the late 20th century, the platform architecture of these new vessels reflects a generational shift in fundamental design philosophy. Over-reliance on limited upgrades to outdated platforms may lead to bottlenecks in future upgrade potential and battlefield adaptability when confronting new threats like stealth targets, hypersonic weapons, and unmanned swarms. Thus, two primary advancement paths appear before us. First, immediately launching mass production of the Type 054B frigate or optimizing it to produce a Type 054B modified variant. Second, breaking free from the Type 054 framework to develop from scratch a new generation frigate, long anticipated by military enthusiasts and potentially designated Type 057, which direction holds greater strategic value. Upon deeper analysis, the necessity of developing an entirely new platform may be becoming increasingly prominent. The core reason lies in the fundamental logic of warship design. The propulsion system determines the platform's upper limits. Modern military vessel design is inherently centered around the propulsion system. The type, layout, and power output characteristics of the propulsion system fundamentally dictate the hull's primary dimensions, internal compartmentalization, piping routing, and displacement distribution. This, in turn, profoundly influences the ship's speed, endurance, stealth performance, electrical supply potential, and future upgrade capacity. The serial development of a warship class, 
regardless of changes to its superstructure or weapon systems, often locks its propulsion compartment layout for life. This explains why, from the Type 054 to the 054A, then to the 054AG and 054B, despite rapid advancements in radar, weapons, and electronic systems, the fundamental selection and layout philosophy of their propulsion systems remain consistent. The U.S. Arla Burke class destroyers, evolving from Type I to Type III, similarly followed this path of technological inertia. This continuity means the Type 054 series, including the latest Type 054B, struggles to fully overcome inherent limitations from its original design. The most scrutinized aspect is its all-diesel, or diesel-diesel combined propulsion scheme. While economical and reliable, this approach has shortcomings in key performance areas, relatively slow acceleration response, making it difficult to achieve the rapid bursts of speed possible with gas turbines. Maximum speed is typically capped below 30 knots, and the significant vibration and noise generated by diesel engines pose challenges to the stealth performance critical for anti-submarine warfare. These shortcomings create a potential conflict with the core requirements of the Chinese Navy's transformation toward distant sea escort and ocean-going capabilities, particularly with the commissioning of large carriers like the Fujian and the future prospect of nuclear-powered carriers. The People's Navy is building a blue-water decisive combat system centered on carrier strike groups. A typical carrier strike group may need to sustain high-speed maneuvers exceeding 30 knots under specific tactical scenarios. If escort vessels cannot match this maximum speed, they risk falling behind the formation's core, unable to provide timely regional air defense and anti-submarine protection. Conversely, modern attack submarines achieve increasingly high underwater stealth speeds. Anti-submarine frigates must possess exceptional quietness and explosive acceleration to effectively occupy positions track, and engage targets. The inherent limitations of the Type 054's propulsion system in stealth and acceleration could become its Achilles heel in such high-end confrontations. Therefore, to genuinely meet the demands of high-intensity operations in the deep blue seas, particularly when accompanying aircraft carrier strike groups, over the next decade and beyond, a new frigate platform centered around a more advanced propulsion system appears indispensable. The legendary Type 057 frigate embodies precisely this expectation. It may adopt an integrated electric propulsion system or a more advanced diesel-electric hybrid, combined propulsion solution to achieve superior stealth performance, more flexible power distribution, faster acceleration response, and higher sustained speeds. Its hull design will be developed entirely from scratch, featuring an even more extreme stealth profile an optimized internal compartment layout to accommodate next-generation combat systems and the growing demand for diverse unmanned equipment. In short, as the 10th Type 054G frigate is launched and commissioned, the applause of celebration marks a pivotal crossroads for China's Navy and shipbuilding industry. The temptation to rapidly expand capabilities using mature platforms remains strong, yet the call to confront future high-end warfare in the open seas is equally clear. Will China choose steady progress along familiar paths or dare to forge a new track, crafting a next-generation ocean guardian capable of operating alongside aircraft carriers and hunting formidable adversaries in the silent depths? The answer to this question will not only determine the destination of the next batch of frigate orders, but will also largely define the capability boundaries and tactical imagination of the Chinese Navy's future blue water warfare system. Perhaps the era of the Type 057 is truly about to begin.